today we will see what is the system responsiveness a uh, uh, d-word that is very popular uh, this uh, d-word is connected with multimedia class scheduler service uh, it's a mechanism inside the mechanism of uh, mmcss multimedia class scheduler service. and uh, theoretically this helping in uh, video and audio okay so today i did some tests and i had uh, as objective only valorant okay because it doesn't matter which game are you playing for this uh, setting um uh, and uh, i did uh, many tests i did 10 trials for each value for some uh, values the default value i must say that i'm not sure if this value is the default of windows because uh, this option by default doesn't exist in registry doesn't exist okay if you install windows but from my research, I made this conclusion that this uh, the default is 20 decimal. If someone has more information or a different opinion, just let me know in comments, okay? As I said, I'm not sure about if this is the default. So I tried theoretically the default. I tried 10 decimal, 100 decimal, and the option when this disabled. Of course, MMCSS was enabled with lazy mode, all options that I had so on the previous video. And uh, as I said, I tested the audio driver and the, the, the graphics uh, driver, okay. But first of all, let's give a quick uh, definition of what is system responsiveness. Uh, basically, it's a Windows registry setting that manages the allocation of system resources to optimize the performance of multimedia applications, as we said. is connected with MMCSS, as we said. Ensuring smooth playback and responsiveness for tasks such as video and audio playback. It allows uh, users to prioritize resource allocation based on, on their preferences and system requirements, enhancing uh, the overall uh, multimedia experience on a Windows system. So more simply, theoretically, higher values giving system responsiveness trying to uh, to share the all power of CPU. Okay, to have a stability. Okay, if you have, for example. Uh, Task Manager, many background processes. For example, if you have, if you play a game and you have Spotify and Discord connect uh, at, at the same time, system responsiveness will try to uh, to separate the power of CPU in order to have a stability and the other to be in real time, the Discord to work in real time when you're speaking with other people, and at the same time the game to be uh, stable. So that's about. Uh, everything about system responsiveness let's start with nvidia driver as you see i can't say that we have huge uh, differences um in duration fragments basically the difference is not huge okay it's basically same okay but uh, the average duration fragments we have some reduction uh, with this option disable okay and also uh, dpci is our enter time again it's not so uh, big difference okay about audio drivers now uh, things are very different okay the best option is 100 decimal okay i had the lowest uh, latency especially basically if you navigate to my tests here as you see on the, on the test in uh, 100 decimal i hadn't spikes in uh, in maximum duration fragments or, or, but on the other tests in 20 decimal 10 decimal and disable i had so many uh so many spikes as you see here here in test 5 and test 10 i had spikes here i had three ten spikes three uh three spikes and here i had again one two three spikes so as you see uh, lower values in system responsiveness or if you disable system responsiveness it has a negative impact in uh, audio okay i don't know if you can uh, feel the difference but especially if you want the best audio and you working in audio programs i recommend you to don't modify this option don't disable system responsiveness or even try 100 decimal okay but for gpu i recommend you to disable this option okay if you're focusing on lower on lower system latency and you don't care about the audio, uh, you can disable this option. 
this my results, my latency results, so your uh, decision, decision is yours. Anyways guys, that was the video, thanks for watching.